this is our lab. And we are doing a dye lab. We already have all of our ingredients set out. We have strawberry, red cabbage, a purple flower, carrots, pine cone, blackberries, a yellow flower, blueberries, a pink flower, and we have already boiled off some tree bark, which used to be this. What we do is we will be putting our ingredients in a beaker of water with 250 milliliters yeah. and put it on a hot plate and stir occasionally until the object changes the water. Then we have to we are doing that. We have to boil off this again to turn it into a dye. And we have to let it sit until take out the fabric from purple. Jaden is just like sitting on the outside of my body or something. Now we're taking out the fabric from this. Which, what's the original white? It is a slight greenish color now. And Kyle will be taking the yellow out. Carrots, actually. Carrot. It has a. It turned it like a pale yellow. Uh, yellow flower. Yellow flower. Still not, really not much of a difference. change. We have our pine cone, which made very subtle brown changes. Tree bark made a mild change. Our strawberry made a very lovely red. Pink flower did nothing. A red cabbage created a blue. And our blackberries created a purple blue. Red. Obviously, some colors took better than the rest. Mostly the browns did not do much besides tint it. And if we continue to boil this, we will probably make blueberry syrup. Oh boy. <laughs> so, the more bright fluorescent colors actually made a change. Mostly anything that ranged with pinks or blues. Okay. So we have four actual colors. And six tints. 